Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We're gonna be reviewing this Onda all-in-one PC in a couple of days on the main channel at lon.tv. I'll put a picture of what it looks like uh, up on screen right here so you can see what we're dealing with. And uh, what I wanted to do first was do a teardown of it to see if it's upgradable. What's neat about this all-in-one is that it's running with a KB Lake Celeron, so it should be a lot faster than some of the other uh, PCs we've looked at that come in around this three to $400 price point that are all-in-ones. Uh, so I took it apart already, and I will lift up the portion here where the PC is actually located, and this is what is inside. Now, we're going to probably take the motherboard off here to see uh, what we can expand for memory, but uh, right off the bat here, it looks like they've left a full-size SATA connector in here along with some drive rails, so you could probably add... Uh, some additional storage right off the bat. Uh, there is 128 gigabytes of storage on the main board here. And in fact, I think it is probably right here. This looks like an M2 SATA. Yeah, right here is the M2 SATA drive. So you can easily uh, get at the storage there. I'm not hopeful on the RAM here, just given how they have this thing configured. So uh, let's take a little jump cut here and get that motherboard off and see what is on the other side. All right, so I got the motherboard partially exposed here. And inside, we do have some memory expansion, which is great. So we do have the ability to swap out uh, the four gig RAM stick that is inside of the computer here. And there's also a wireless Bluetooth card here. It looks like it's got a little PCI slot in there. So pretty upgradable, not a very large fan here on the processor, but as you'll see in the main review, uh, it does actually do a pretty decent job of uh, getting this computer cooled off even under load, probably because there's just not a lot of uh, blockage here of airflow. It's a pretty basic plastic uh, end piece here that everything is piled into. And uh, this one might be interesting just because again, it's got that KB Lake Celeron, which is a lot faster than the Apollo Lake Celeron we've looked at. So the performance on here won't be as good as an i3, but it'll be relatively close to that uh, for a lot of the basic tasks that you might do with something like this. So stay tuned. Full review coming up very shortly on the main channel at lon.tv. Can't wait to show you this one. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.